What is up? Always legit and totally not a scam virgin gang. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Let's bring back a fan favorite. Let's bring back Bromeo cards, baby. Let's do that one more time. Today's Bromeo card of the day is going to be other than Salvatore, the language professor from Scarlet and Violet. Look at the drip. Look at the hairline. That's a, that's a pretty hard line there. It's a pretty big hard line he's got going in his hair. Look at the Raichu pin, specifically Alolan Raichu going on there. Still need the SAR, but this card is fantastic. The Bromeos are going to be coming back. We're going to be doing a lot of things I used to do back in the day because the times are just calling for it. People are starting to act up again. And unfortunately, these streets need a dirty, grimy hero like me to actually kick in some, I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. Anyway, I'm sure some of you guys tuned in yesterday to the Frat Boys Live that was going on. Look at these three beautiful men standing up here, opening card packs, caressing each other, and inhaling the smells of man, just ecstasy in the air, cracking open these packs. It was a very good live. They did it for about three hours. They were all doing stuff. I, I tuned in for a little bit. Unfortunately, I could not stay for the whole thing, working and whatnot. That's why I actually had to upload this video at the time I was going to as well. Shiny Vert beat me to this as well. That little sneak, that little... That little baloney guy right there. Nah, he, he did a good job. I'll recommend his video as well. We're talking about this stuff. We're unfortunately talking about something that has happened before, and it's kind of funny how this happened. So during the live at some point, there was a, uh, a something came up where they noticed that uh, an ad was being used featuring Pokey Rev's face, not just any ad. The Pokey Power Boxes, the mystery boxes that will solve all your problems. This little guy right here was being advertised once again. Now, some of you guys, this may look familiar. This may seem like an event that's already happened. Well, yes, it did. There's been several videos done about this already from the previous experience where this happened. Put out his own video about it, and even Rattle talked about this back in the day. I think he did two videos on it in pretty good detail, essentially talking about how they were using him to advertise his product without his consent at all with any of this stuff. Now, look. I know some people are going to say this stuff. I know some people don't like Pokey Rev. I know some people don't like Cool Trainer Ryan. I know some people do not like Pokey Vault, okay? I understand all that. I completely get where some people do not like this mystery product, and I completely get where people are just like, you know, fuck, what, what does this have to fucking do with me? What? Who cares, right? Who cares that someone is using his face? Now, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I think we all can agree that if you get your fucking face slapped on something that's known to be kind of shitty in this space... Without your permission, like no one would want that. I wouldn't wish that on Dr. Parapod. I wouldn't wish that on a old great value Pokey Rev himself. I wouldn't wish that on anybody because that's just some stuff that like you can't even control. You're, you're basically using somebody to market something that ain't fucking cool. And that happened. We'll check out the little clip from the live. I already talked to Ryan and stuff about this. We'll, we're going to see what happened with this and we'll see if we can find some, uh, uh, get down to the bottom of what happened here. Here you go. Here you go. All right. So, all right, set the table. Let's go. This is actually. I'm, I'm about to pull the video. I'm about to pull this video. I'm about to pull this video. I'm about to pull this. Are you gonna show it on the dark camera? Right do Before we get into it, real quick, I just want <laughs> I want to call it attention. I've noticed Sean's is uh he he's looking like he's having a really good time during this live. He's looking like he's having an absolute blast going on here, and the whole thing was fun. No one did anything really wrong or anything. Like that. It's just I noticed Sean's in particular. He he is feeling the party mode going on in this whole thing. So I open up mystery boxes sometimes, right, guys? Like I'll, I buy them like anonymously. I don't put my, I don't put Pokey Rev on or anything like that. Um, and there was one that caused a lot of drama because I'm pretty sure they figured out that it was me. But then they started advertising it. So look at this. Like this is ridiculous, bro. Bro, you don't understand. This that. is ridiculous. Bro, like, I don't, don't even understand how this is possible. Bro, you don't. How do they even do this? Bro, you don't understand, bro. They recently, I. They recently responded they? to a comment of mine on their TikTok where I said, don't buy this scammer bullshit, right? Will they be able to pull, like, will, if I pull this video, or is this on, like, is this a fake PokeRev channel? Um, this could, is it, or is linked, it, it's, it's linked, linked to, to mine. Video. They linked? are linking, okay. they made So it. this is like, this is it, right? This is the ad, right? And it says PokeRev, like, it's like, as if I'm like. It's a new ad. It's a yeah. new ad, and this guy just had beef with and me. And it has your picture. It has your picture. It has my channel. Yep. It says sponsored by PokeRev, and it says 50% yeah, off all PokeRev power subscription bro, boxes. Everybody go after, bro, everybody go him. All right, so words being set aside and all that stuff, this ad looks exactly like the ad they were talking about a year ago. PokeRev did a whole thing on his channel about it where he basically showed the actual emails where he talked to 
Pokey Power Box right here, which this is not known for being a very fucking good product in the community. There's several people who have opened this up and have realized it's just a big fat fucking load of shit in a box. Like no, no one's having fun opening this stuff up. And the people that are opening this up and having fun with it are probably getting boxes that are made to be a little bit more fun. I'm not going to say they're doing anything weird, but, but maybe a couple things might have fell in there that weren't in some other boxes. This is a mystery product after all. But overall, you know, we, we can't really prove any of that. We're not going to go hard in the paint on that. What we can prove here, though, is uh, they're advertising using PokeRev right here, basically with an ad that was already discussed, and linking his video of the Pokemon Power Boxes, the Poke Power Boxes, to his fucking channel. Like, they're basically advertising this as if he is putting his golden seal of approval on this box. Yes, PokeRev fans. Yes, all you dumb Pokey Ref fans, come on down. Not, not that y'all are dumb. Like I'm just, that's what they're doing here. That's what they're, that's what they think y'all are gonna do. They think you're fucking idiots. They're like, oh, go, go click on this shit right here. Pokey Ref thinks it's good, right? You're gonna go there. You're gonna buy these stupid ass boxes that are fifty percent off. Oh, what's wrong? Can't sell them at full fucking price. What people are just aren't buying them anymore. Gee, I wonder why. And then you're using this stuff without fucking permission from anybody else. You're just cool with this stuff going on right here. And it's, it's, th this should not happen to people. This should not be the case where anybody, look, you don't like Pokey Rev's boxes. That's fucking fine. I understand that. Like, at least he gave his fucking approval for his Pokey Rev packs, okay? And you're free to judge them how you wish. He doesn't even get a fucking chance to rebuttal any of this shit because they've already been like, yeah, Pokey Rev fucking proves this shit. Look at him ripping into these boxes right here. Look at all the fun he's having with all that stuff when Pokey Rev is pretty sure they figured out who he was and sweetened up his box maybe a little bit more, which he, he pulls the video, but like, we'll, we'll keep going. Join us to have... So basically what happened with this was like, they, I don't know, they just like weren't shipping out anything. They spent like, what was it like? Five months, six months, they weren't sending out people's stuff. Bro, and, and all these people, like, started buying them and everything like that. But it says it's sponsored by me, which, number one, it's not sponsored by me at all. I just bought them one time and I did a video on it. But it links, I guess it, like, it looks like it's me, like, having bro, it as sponsored. That's linked as you, bro. Yeah, bro, that's so... F How do you... Dude, that's so... Bro, but, like, but, but like, like, wait, look, watch, so if you watch. go to... Go to watch. That's so messed up. Bro, what? I'm done. I'm, I'm pulling the video right now. Whoa. What? Bro, I pull I'm pulling the video, bro. Let's see what happens if I pull the video. Bro, pull the video, bro. Let's see what happens if I pull it. Don't buy these. Don't buy these. Don't buy these. Don't buy these. Is that your phone or my phone? Wait, so I pulled it. I pulled the video. I pulled the video. I pulled the video. No. Serious That's not me. That's not me. That's not me. Okay, he didn't post this. They're using his image and his information without even asking him. And he's been done like no. that's that that's not okay. That's it's just because it, it's like, I don't know how they do that. Because it shows it's sponsored by me, but it's not sponsored by me. Okay, I've never... How do they do that? For real, like, how, how do they, how do they, how does YouTube allow you to because do that? Because they, they, they marked you as probably an affiliate. I think we're on this website. 100% do not buy these, and he's going to pull the video, probably pulling down the ad link to it, hopefully, for all that. I mean, that's just, that's some scummy, shitty, crappy behavior with him, like, doing that stuff. So he is very vocal, by the way. This homie right here, who is doing all this stuff and talking about these. Once again, he was talked to before. He sent emails, of course, to PokeRev. You can very clearly see right here. And I'm not going to go into the whole thing. Once again, Vert basically went more into the conversations. I'm not going to steal his thunder. You should go check out his video. Uh, good morning, Rev. You know, we'll have it removed today or tomorrow. Basically, they're giving him the whole thing. Like, we're a high traffic store. All this bullshit jargon where they can't pull it down because, like, right, bro, we'll pull it down today or tomorrow. Sorry about the, the misconception or anything like that. We just thought that we could just use you as, like, some kind of sponsorship token when we didn't get any kind of permission from any of that stuff we just were like hey fuck it cool go for it big dog and what that was a year ago that was a whole ass year ago where this happened right rattle talked about it rev talked about it the whole thing right they they go into fucking detail responding to people when they're dissatisfied with their boxes look at that, look at that beautiful man up there look at that look at that tasty scrumptious man just sitting there with that like nice little ooh, that's a good beanie by the way. And he's talking about I'm pretty sure who is this? Yeah, this was a uh, Pokey Thrills Tyler. He opened a box. He said it was the worst box ever when he opened it up. And I, I've I've heard from several people that that might also be the case. And he like Poke Power Box bro, po Power Box bot, Power Booty Boxes. Whoever's running this shit basically left a whole ass paragraph explaining how why the boxes were gonna be better and we make them for collectors or something like that. And it gets it gets even funnier. Like apparently, <laughs> I 
Apparently Ryan got wind of this, said don't buy this garbage, and then the, the pokey power boxes comes back. Dude, you ready for this snappy comment? You ready for what they say back? You ready for this fucking burn? Hope you got a fucking burn heal. Haha, <laughs> Pokemon humor, right? I hope you got one of those, dude. You know, you know, you know what they say back? They say, says the scammy YouTuber. <laughs> Says this scammy YouTuber, and then it proceeds to comment on his thing where he was opening packs with his Ryan, by the way, with all his uh, power tools on stuff, using a jigsaw. He's going straight in for that stuff. This guy will do anything for you. And hey, so will you guys, apparently, except make a good quality fucking product. That's the one thing you guys won't do, apparently, according to that. And it's just funny. Says the scammy YouTuber. Yeah, says the people using YouTubers to market their fucking boxes that are not authorized to be sponsored. But, like, Pokey Rev never agreed to that shit. He never fucking agreed. Cough up something if you ever agree to that stuff. Cough up anything. You're not going to be able to. And honestly, if this gets really too much stupider, someone's going to have to step in with that stuff. But look, plain as day, right there, right right fucking there with the, the Pokey Power Boxes. Little Link Pokey Rev. This shit's sponsored, baby. Fucking help us sell our boxes for 50% off because nobody fucking wants them. Do that. That's, that's what we're going to do now. That is some scummy behavior. Once again... I don't wish this on my enemies. You should not have your face put to something that you did not agree to anything about. Like, to be like, I thumbs up this stuff. Like, I, I'd do this for anybody. Even people I genuinely dislike in this community because that's bullshit. You have zero consent over your fucking word on a product at that point. And people are going to fall for that. PokeRev does have a lot of people that look up to him, that watch his videos, that like his actual mystery packs themselves, and overall just enjoy his content. And they're going to look at that shit and be like, oh, well, Daddy Nick says this is okay. I guess that's fucking fine. Going to skippity doo on my way over to Pokey Poopy Boxes and grab four of them. They're 50% off after all. And then be disappointed when they get a bunch of fucking vintage bulk that's like worth nothing or something. They're going to get a, a, a slab that may or may not be as advertised. I don't know. It's alleged, of course, after all. And it's just goofy, man. I don't really understand where any of this shit is even, I don't know what went through their mind. I don't know what they were smoking that day where they sat down like, huh, you know, it's been a whole year. I bet Rev forgot about that one time I fucking used his face to mark it. Let's try it again. <laughs> I don't know if it fucking got hit with the old Groundhog's Day. I don't know what the fuck happened. It's just crazy. That's all I got. Appreciate it, Virgin. Sorry about the super late upload. It's the it's the work schedule, of course. I appreciate y'all hanging with me. If 500 people watch, that's cool. Just people, people really need to see this bullshit and be aware that that's just not fucking cool. Like I said, my enemies don't deserve this. Fucking scum in this community does not deserve to be fucking misrepresented by bullshit like this. That's, that's fucking lame. See you later, virgins. Have a good night. Oh, oh poopy boxes coming back at you.